Hello everyone and thank you for joining on my another live stream today. So this is the 22nd of October 2020 on Thursday. So every Thursday I talk about Ichimoku basic lecture and today's topic is about Y wave. Y wave. So the day before yesterday on Tuesday I talked about the P wave. So today's topic is about Y wave. And we're gonna look at some markets, a couple of charts, and find the Y wave structure in the market, and expect uh, how the market's gonna move within the Y wave. So let's get started. Before starting here, just as a quick disclaimer, this knowledge is based on my experience. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. Okay, so here we go. Let's get started. Let's see. All right, I see uh, lots of uh, traders coming in today. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you are. <laughs> All right, greet Josie, Marvin, Karim, Valentino, and Senior. Uh, you know, thank you for joining. Dinesh, good to see you from UK. Good to see you. David, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. All right, and um, let's see. Hi, Yoruna. Thank you for joining as well. All right, so Yoruna has been my moderator. And if you can come to my website, scroll down a little bit. There, there are actually playlists here. You can just simply click on this playlist and you can enjoy the past videos. And also there is live stream program for this month of uh, October for public life and also the membership life here. And then here is actually the introduction of the moderators. So you can you can enjoy their uh, message here. And they are actually supporting my community. So, yeah, lots of things going on in this community. And the intention for my YouTube live is actually to help traders become a non-losing trader. Non-losing is a key. Because um, as after I f start to focus on the non-losing, no winning, try to win, then I became more prof profitable stably. So the break-even is very important to end the trace, and also every time you need to play either break-even or win game, then you can eventually grow your profits over time. And that's my philosophy, and that's why I put here help you become a non-losing trader in my YouTube channel. Alright, so hi S. Johanna, thank you for joining. Ignat and Decoin, Yasar, Roy, Ivan, Melanie, thank you for joining. Aditya, S. Meg, and uh, Boris, Sandy, Freddy, and Femin, Prander, Hi Duke, and Maris, and Karin, Sindulu, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. Alright, Vincent, Zoyeb, and Mr. Fernandez and uh, Maris, thank you for joining. So let's look at some markets now and see where we can find the Y wave as today's topic. So here is a Euro JPY and there is a Y wave previously over here. So if I can spot it, um, just going backwards a little bit. Um, this is the Y wave structure that we can find. Um, actually, from here, the the highs were getting higher. The highs getting higher here, and the low were actually about the same price level. So, yeah, this wasn't the Y wave actually. Hold on, let me try to find it. Another one. Let's see. Y wave is actually the typical reversal uh, formation too in Ichimoku. P wave or Y wave. And basically we just wait for the breakout towards either direction. So let's see. Oh, I think I found the Y wave here. So this is another typical Y wave structure. So let me just delete the five lines first. Simply by looking at this uh, candles. You see the highs getting higher and the lows getting lower from here. So this is a typical Y wave structure. You can see you can draw 
this uh, like expanding uh, lines in between and the price eventually went down in this case so basically this is like expanding like formation or um, what we call Y wave in Ichimoku because if you see it horizontally and if you just want add one line like this way then uh, this one like looks like a little Y horizontally and that's why this is simply called Y wave structure in Ichimoku and the best option when you find Y wave is to do nothing because it becomes volatile and the market has no trends in the Y wave so and it is very difficult to predict what, when the price is going to bounce in the Y wave in this case, in this example we can draw the line like this on the upper line but on the lower level we cannot draw the line so when we, when we first initially see this uh, recent low I mean this is second low here and if we extend the trend line all the way down like this way the price did not really reach to this level but in the middle it just went up for us so basically Y wave when you find it um, it is very difficult to capture the reversals like uh, when it's gonna turn is very difficult to capture so typically especially when I find the Y wave in a daily chart or forward chart on the higher time frames I stay away from the market Um, in the lower time frame, let's say in 5, when you find Y wave, then most likely it's going to break towards the major trend direction. So, let's see. Um, but yeah, on the daily chart, it is uh, basically this is expanding range and better to avoid taking trades or looking for any uh, trade chances, in my opinion. However, there is a way to capture the potential breakout direction by Ichimoku lines so let's show the Ichimoku lines and let me go back as a bar replay hold on oh I cannot uh, hold on let me refresh the page and um, let's see yep yeah, so we find the Y wave in this area so let me do the bar replay and I will just go backwards like this way so if you happen to see the market like this then you know that this is Y wave it's expanding up and down and the high is getting higher so you might expect the market might continue to go down this way all the way in this formation and uh, in this case, the Chikou span is touching the candles, so basically this is range in market, so not really the, the good timing to take buy or sell, but um, the price is technically above the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen, and the price is still above the Kumo, so potentially this is still uptrend. Unless the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards, this is still uptrend. So let's just move the bar one by one. So okay, now it goes down. So now it becomes bearish. Okay, now it's going down through the Kumo and this is now becoming more bearish now. Um, we never look for buy or sell chance in this case. This is just ranging when the price is in the Kumo on the daily chart. So better to stay away in this case. So let's just go one by one and the price goes below the Kumo now so we can expect the market to continue to go down in this case but we'll see okay so now what's so what's significant here is that um, the ki Tenkan Sen is breaking the Kijun Sen downwards now you can see that uh, there is a cross there's a dead cross of uh, Tenkan Kijun Sen over here so when the really Tenkan Kijun Sen dead cross happens here then um, this is when we can expect the price continue to go down this way on this Y wave uh, we can expect the price breaks the Y wave downwards 
So when you see the Y wave, basically um, you can find the uh, you know which way the price is gonna break on that Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. Simply by looking at Tenkan Kijun Sen, you can expect which way the market is gonna break. So um, um, let's see. So for now, hold on. So if I go back a little bit, like this way. When I happen to see the market like this in this Y wave, I expect the market to go up this way. And it's simply because the Tenkan Sen is above the Kijun Sen. See? And as time goes by, as time goes by like this, uh, you can see the Tenkan Kijun Sen overlap. Tenkan Kijun Sen overlap here. And if I bar, if I move the bar a uh, little bit more, then it completely overlaps. So in this in this case, when you see the lines overlap, then we don't know which way it's breaking. Maybe it's gonna continue to go up, or it's gonna go down in the Y wave. And as time goes by, you see the Tenkan Sen is above the Kijun Sen in this case. So uh, here you see the Tenkan Sen is simply above the Kijun Sen. So we can expect the market breaks upwards this way. Unless the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards, this is still uptrend. So if I watch the market real time like this, then um, yeah, this might be the breakout towards the upwards. So in the next bar, the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards. And now I don't expect the market to go up. So up to this candlestick on this 22nd of January, over this one, this was the potential uptrend. But as soon as I see the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards, then I can see that this is now into, into the range. I mean, there is no trend in the market. So I will just wait for the Tenkan Sen goes below the Kijun Sen to expect the market continue to go down this way. So I will just uh, wait for wait for um, the that wait for that to, that to happen. So let me just cancel the candles. So you see in the Y wave, you can see that still <coughs> sorry, it's still the Tenkan Sen is above the Kijun Sen. So I will just wait until Tenkan Sen goes below the Kijun Sen here. So let's see. Let's just move one by one. And see, right now, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen completely overlaps. So I will just uh, exp I will just wait until they uh, they break up. So they overlap still, and now we see um, Tenkan Sen is below the Kijun Sen. See, you know, blue line is a Kijun. Uh, blue line is the Tenkan Sen, and Kijun Sen is the green one. And you can see that the um, Tenkan Sen is below the Kijun Sen. So in this range market, I expect the market breaks downwards this way. So let's show the candles now and see what's happening. So now it's going down. And the price goes up and continue to go down this way. See? so. When you see Y wave or when you see P wave, basically you look at the Tenkan Kijun Sen and uh, so that you can capture which way potentially the range is gonna break. This is a range strategy of Ichimoku, especially on the Y wave formation today. And this is very powerful um, to expect which way the price is gonna break. So once again, when you see this Tenkan Sen above the Kijun Sen in Y wave, most likely it's gonna break up, upwards. So in this area, um, we can expect the market breaks upwards this way, unless the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards. This is still up, uh, potential uptrend. And once the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards, then this is the range. You see Tenkan Sen above Kijun Sen, but the price itself is below the Kijun Sen, so this is a range market. So better to wait until Tenkan Sen comes below the Kijun Sen. 
and once it does, then this is potential bearish trend. So from this candlestick, Ichimoku lines show that this is bearish. And also, if you can add more confirmations, uh, Chikou span is below the candles, so this is a bearish confirmation. And also, we can see that the price is still below the Kijun Sen, and this is another bearish confirmation. And also, it's below the Kumo too. So we can expect the market goes to reverse in wave structure like this way, downwards. And eventually, this is becoming a breakout of this Y wave structure. And this is effective when you see the P wave too. Um, if I can touch on the P wave a little bit, um, hold on, let's see. Let me see if I can find any P wave structure. Well, pretty much the market is ranging right now, so I think it's good to talk about some strategies than doing some market analysis today. Um, let's see, P wave, uh, Euro, USD. Um, let's see, let me try to find the P wave now. Um, let's see, this is not really the P wave. Right now, it's not the P wave. Um, this is not. Um, Alright, so I can see that there's a P wave structure here. So if I do the bar replay once again, and if you happen to see the market on this day of uh, 16th of uh, Sept uh, sorry, 10th of September, you can find there's a P wave structure. P wave is where the highs getting lower and the lows getting higher, and this is a P wave structure. And when you see the P wave, you want to know which way the price is going to break. And you can tell by Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen locations, and also the price. Okay, so um, in this case, you can see that the Kijun Sen is below, uh, sorry, Tenkan Sen is below the Kijun Sen. If I zoom in more, the lines are in the Kumo now, but you can see that the Tenkan Sen, the blue one, is below the Kijun Sen. So the blue one is Tenkan Sen, and the green one is a Kijun Sen. And you can see Tenkan Sen below the Kijun Sen. So if the price comes below Kijun Sen, like this, then potentially it's gonna break down on this P wave. That's how you can read the potential breakout direction. Right now, the Tenkan Sen is below the Kijun Sen, but the price is above the Kijun Sen still. So we cannot really think that this is uh, you know, the downtrend yet. So, better to wait until the price comes below Kijun Sen and take a sell at the breakout. So, let me just draw the lines like this way. Yeah, like this way. And um, see, let's see uh, whether the price can break down or not. And you can, uh, you can notice you can uh, keep focusing on the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen locations and also the price level. So let me just move the candles one by one. So the price is still above the Kijun Sen. Okay, now the price went down below the Kijun Sen. And let's see if the Tenkan Sen is below the Kijun Sen. So let me cancel the candlesticks and uh, technically we see the Tenkan Sen is below the Kijun Sen, right? So this is a potential break to the downwards now. So um, let's just uh, let me just uh, back the candles and uh, let's just move one by one. Hold on. Okay, so now there's a P wave breakout, and in this case, at the breakout we can expect the market to continue to go down this way. And especially when you see the Chikou span below the candles, this is a serious downtrend. So we'll see. Okay, so now you can see that um, the Chikou span came below the candles and the price all the way below the Tenkan Kijun Sen and the Kumo. So this is a breakout towards downwards. So. Once again, when you find the you know this um, Kijun Sen 
I mean, a Tenkan Sen below the Kijun Sen in the P wave, that shows that this is a potential break towards the downwards. And when the price comes below the Kijun Sen, that's, uh, that's when the market is ready to break downwards. Uh, vice versa, when the Tenkan Sen above the Kijun Sen on the P wave, and when as long as the price above the Kijun Sen, then most likely it's gonna break upwards this way. In this case, um, you know, the price just resisted by this uh, descending trend line and the price went downwards here. So we cannot, we didn't see the breakout towards the up for upside. So, but this is potentially how you can capture the breakout in the Y wave and also this P wave structure like this. So, let me come back to some comments now. Okay, let's see. Alright. Continuously, traders are coming in. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. Nova, good to see you. From a break-even trader up to 20% since following your teachings. Thanks, Kay. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's great. That's great. Yeah, make sure to be a non-losing trader, right? Uh, make sure that you don't lose, you risk, you risk manage the positions up to 2% per trace and always make sure to uh, look for the trending market, then you should be fine. So in this case, in this chart example, uh, the Kumo is shifted downwards now and also Chikospan below the candles and Ten, uh, Kijun Sen is going down, right? And also the Senko Span BA both going down. So I can see that this is downtrend after the P wave breakout, and I expect the market to continue to go down this way in this case. So, you know, always, always look for the trending market. When it's range, then don't take trace. That's the key. That's the key. All right. And Antipas, thank you for joining. Oh, Marvin says, uh, from where can I join the Discord? And you can access to the community tab on YouTube and you can find the link to join the Discord. And uh, let's see. Oh, there are some discussions going on. Oh, their link is expired. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry about that. And oh, thank you. Looks like. Um, Join the community already, but the link on Discord is expired. Okay, I will check the link on the community tab on YouTube. Hold on. Oh, sorry. So there is some discussion about the link on the to to get uh, to get to the Discord. Um, let's see. All right, I will create uh the new link to join Discord as soon as possible after this live and you can join the discord from there from that link I'm sorry about that I'm sorry about the issue okay sorry I'm still reading these uh, conversations but um, yeah yeah I will I will um, s uh, put the link as soon as I finish this uh, live stream, public live. Yeah, sorry about the issue. Yeah, I will put the link that won't, won't expire from now, so... Yeah. Okay, so let's see. let me come back to some other comments now. And whenever you find any issues, uh, if you can email me, that would be greater. Because today's topic is about the wave analysis, why wave? So, um, yeah, you can just mention, you know, uh, you can join the link to join Discord on email so that I can make sure to read it and uh, I can uh, help you out. All right, and let's see. Freddy, thank you for joining to see you. And Marusan, thank you for joining and helping me as a moderator. You already introduced on my website. So, just enjoy Marusan and Yorun's uh, comments as a moderators. 
Let's see. So, what else we can find? Hi, Jojo. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. And Greg, good to see you too. And Thana Paul, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Um, let's see. And Saito, thank you for joining again. Good to see you. And David, thank you for joining. So, um, you get the point of this uh, uh, range breakout strategy by the Ichimoku. Especially uh, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. Yet, if you have any questions, uh, you can you can type it on this uh, on this chat so that I can reply. I think we're gonna do the live for the next uh, about ten minutes or so, and I will prepare for the membership live. And before that, I will make sure to put the link to join Discord on the Ichimoku community tab. So yeah, for those who cannot still join the Discord, you can do so afterwards um, let's see hello from Germany thank you um, Ugnet good to see you and Brian thank you for joining as well so I hope you get the idea of uh, the range breakout strategy as today's topic on this Y wave and also this is the P wave breakout <clears throat> All right, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna have a membership live later, or after this public live. <clears throat> All right, Luke, thank you for joining, Freddy. Good to see you. And uh, you can add, okay, do you trade Bitcoin? And I don't trade Bitcoin. I was looking at the Bitcoin earlier, and I see that it's spiking up. So, yeah, but I personally, I don't take any cryptocurrencies. I only take uh, major uh, forex pairs. And Andrew, thank you for joining. Munalula says, why is your Ichimoku community link is so hard to join? Oh, because that's only for the Ichimoku uh, paid members. Once you get, once you become a paid members, and once you access to the community tab on YouTube, then you can find the link to join. I think it's a pretty simple procedure. Uh, so hold on, let's see. Okay, Luke says, uh, why you don't take trades in the range market? I read a lot from um, somebody and the way he trade range. Um, so the reason why Take, I don't take trades in the range market has uh, two two uh, reasons. One is it's not really time efficient. Like uh, the price goes up and down in the range market, so we cannot extend the profit as much as possible in the range. The target will be relatively shorter, and that's why I don't take trades in the range. And also the risk for the price to go backwards is relatively higher in the range, and that's why I don't take trades in the range. I only capture the trending market and just write on the trends. That's it. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Hi from Indonesia. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. Okay. Uh, what time frame we must stretch for P and Y wave? Um, you can you can take it in the daily chart. The daily chart is actually the main time frame when Ichimoku was originally created. So um, yeah, you can uh, take trades in the range market. I mean, uh, you can uh, capture the P wave, Y wave in a daily chart. And expect the potential breakout direction by uh, Tenkan Kijun Sen and the current price level. Let's see. Uh, senior says Fuji 100 setting on the daily chart broke strong daily support. Could you take a look at it, please? Um, yeah, let's take a look at the uh, Fuji 100. Um, let's see. Where is it? The uh, 
Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, so we see the breakout towards the downwards now. So here's a daily chart of a Hootsie and you can see that the Kumo Senko Span B is trending down, A is down, and Kijun Sen is down. And also Chikou Span is below the candles, so this is a nice downtrend confirmation. Yep. Looks like the price broke the recent low level downwards. And this looks to be the beginning of the downtrend now. This way. Yeah. Alright, so I guess uh, I will be ending the live for now. Um, and for those who cannot join the community, I will post the link to join the Discord uh, as soon as I finish this live. Sorry about the issue. So please come to the community tab on YouTube and uh, please join the Discord and later I hope to see you on the membership live on the Ichimoku community. And in case you cannot still join the Discord or in case you cannot find a link to join Discord, then please write me an email so that I can help you out. So I will see you soon and stay gold everyone. Bye for now. Mata ne.